great. Alison, I want to know what is the hardest thing of being an amazing female writer? Because I'm going to emphasize on female. What's in the Hollywood. thing about being a female writer? When you when you win, when you achieve, when you get the job, you feel very victorious. Like, look, we can do it, ladies. We can do it. The film was amazing. What attracted you? to this project? What inspired you? I mean, strong, powerful women in history that we don't know about. It was time their story was told. And uh, who has been your your strongest female figure that you admire? Well, probably my mother. I mean, she made me write when I was a little kid. She would mark up all my short stories for me. She has a sign in the yard that says Allison nominated for an Oscar. So she's a little into this. Oh my God, that was awesome. And I want to know for from the first day that you wrote the first vomit draft to right. that it was ended how long it was I had 12 weeks for the first draft no pressure and, no pressure and then I had a few months going back and forth for the other drafts oh my god it's fast it is crazy do you feel that Hollywood is still a boys club yes she's breaking it you guys showing that women are super talented it's okay we're coming there's a lot of people that want to hire women there's a lot of people that support women I think our generation is just coming up the ranks now, and it's going to happen. I have to say that I tweet that I was so excited because I was going to interview her, and she clicked like. <laughs> that was me. That's My awesome. last thing is I want to hear your Spanish. My Spanish? No hablo bueno. <laughs> Yo entendí. Lo siento. No hay problema. Felicidades. <laughs> Gracias. And I think the name of the movie in Spanish is Figuras Escondidas. Oh, really? How do I say you look very beautiful? Te ves muy bonita. Muy bonita. Igualmente. Gracias. Gracias. Adios. Thank you. I interviewed you when you were uh, in the Dallas Film Festival for Mutt. Oh, great. So, yeah. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I am so excited because I get to see you again and now I hear that you have this amazing film, Loving. Yes. Tell us a little about it. Well, Loving follows Richard and Mildred Loving, who were real people uh, that got married in the late 50s which would have been fine, except that she was black and he was white, which was against the law at the time. And they were arrested and thrown in jail and spent the next decade trying to fight to get back home, to get the right to be back home together. And Loving vs. Virginia was a landmark civil rights case decided in 1967. What was for you as a writer? I mean, it takes a lot of courage to write something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think Richard and Mildred were the courageous ones. Um, I just got to hear their story, be inspired by it, and try to do justice to it. Um, these were two people that were very simple. Um, they were not trying to be um, zealots or, or, or activists even. They just felt something for one another, and the world told them that they shouldn't. And, uh, and so they're the, ones that, uh, they're the ones that did the hard part. I just tried to, to get their story right. From the first day that you start writing until the last draft, how, how long was it? Oh gosh, uh, I started on that project in, in 2012. Oh, oh wow. So you guys, you can do it. It just takes a little time. That's true. My last thing, Jeff, and I did it last time, but I'm sure you don't remember. You have to say something in Spanish. Oh, gosh. Uh, hola. <laughs> Gracias. Look at Very this line. Okay. We look awesome. Oh, my God. Guys, congratulations for being here. Thank you. Tell me, what were you doing when you find out? Well, I was uh, in my pajamas. <laughs> Which is good which because... Is uh, how he which, does everything. I mean, usually I'm in my underwear, so I was pretty dressed up uh, by being in pajamas. And uh, and our... Uh, what, I, we got an email? And, I, you you, and you then texted I me, you. or you called me, and I did a spit take. I, went, I spit out an entire mouthful of whatever it was I had in my mouth, I guess. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I want to know how long it took you from the first day that you wrote the first draft until it was done. Uh, well, we wrote it in uh, 2009, so it took us six over six years. That's a lot of work. Perseverance, you guys. That's the reason these two are here. <laughs> and how is it to write in a team? It's great. We, we, we're kind of like an old married couple. We, we, we cut up each other's food. And we, <laughs> yeah, we finish each other's Send sentences. sandwiches. They're doing it very bad right now. <laughs> well, my last thing, because I know you have to go. I want to hear your Spanish. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, necesitamos ir a la playa después de la uh, I don't know después de que ganemos sí, sí, sí. hola uh, me, me llamo uh, Pablo uh, Wernick <laughs> uh, y uh, yo soy uh, muy uh, loco loco sí. <laughs> loco gracias okay. Thank adiós you. Thank you. Uh, look at that outfit 
Okay, why you are not wearing a cool outfit like him? Because I, because you can't, uh, you can't compete with that. <laughs> Tell us about the day that you find out that you were nominated. Uh, I, this man was the one who who found out how we we would get uh, submitted, and then he comes over at 10 in the morning. I was very grumpy that morning. I had just not had my coffee. And Rex is normally, like, we're not morning people. It's just not who we are. And then I open the door after I hear the doorbell ring, and Rex has this ear-to-ear -ear grin. He's like, did you see what happened? I was like, no. What are you talking about? He's like, look online. I was like, no. We did it. And then we drank champagne and had shots, because, you know, that's how you roll. And that was at 10 in the morning. Yes, mm -hmm. 10 in the morning on a Monday, you know. On naturally. a Monday. Everyone else may be working, but... Yeah, we're writers, so we had just woken up. Yeah. But, like, how is it to have a writing partner? Because I, you know, like, a lot of people write because it's, like, a, a, lone, a lonely thing to do. There's and nothing better than being able to talk back and forth about a terrible idea. It turns that bad idea, it's like, no, that's a bad idea. You talk with him, and you're like, no, oh, well, what if we did this? And then what if we did that? Yeah. So you have to say something in Spanish. You first. <laughs> oh, man. My mom's going to be so ashamed of me. She's fluent in Spanish. Uh, hola, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> es un robo. Es un robo. Muy That's bien. all I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> awesome. Gracias. I'm a very good negotiator. <laughs> I just want you to send a message to Mexico. Say something in Spanish. Uh, uh, hola, Mexico. Uh, Te encanto. I, I love you. I don't know how to say. And watch, te amo. Te amo. And watch fresh out of the boat. Salidos del bote. Es, del barco. And uh, watch salidos del, del barco. barco. Gracias. <laughs> I want to hear your Spanish, you guys. Impreso. Hello. Buenos uh, dias. Como estas? Bien. ¿Y tú? Uh, bien. Molto bien. Gracias. <laughs> what about you? Uh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> you can say, soy muy bonita. Son Muy? Muy bonita. Bonita. You know yeah. what that means? I it's am very that. beautiful is oh. what I mean. And she's right. Gracias. gracias. Thank you, guys. U usted, uh, usted también. Oh, gracias. Us gracias. <laughs> Yo, Thank you. Saludos desde Guadalajara. Oh, so, oh saludos a, a Guadalajara. Thank you. Gracias. Él es otra. Uh, you know, I have to tell you a story about this. And I hope you'll have a translator. <laughs> Years ago, I made a movie uh -huh. with Oliver Stone, who I'm honoring tonight. I filmed in Mexico. We filmed in Tepoztlan, uh, Tlayacapan, Coyuta de Benitez, everywhere. And I learned for a while to speak Spanish because I was able to do it. Uh -huh. Because I was surrounded by people, of course. Exactly. And then uh, I got back to the United States and I was up in New England and there weren't as many influences. And it started to drift back. And now I find myself actually, um, I, I, you know, you can get these apps on your iPhone to learn. And now I want to become completely fluent in Spanish. It's very important. You know, it we helps. have it now on video. You guys hear it. And here's what's really important. If you have children, my mother had a school forever, and they taught the children French from three to five years old, okay? They put on a play in French at five years old. And you know what the interesting thing is? If you teach your children two or three languages before they're six years old, they learn it so quickly, it's amazing. So when they're playing with their iPad or their iPhone, let them go on Duolingo and learn another language and make it fun, okay? And the first one you got to learn, Espanol, gracias. You can always practice with me. Thank you. Puedes practicar conmigo cuando quieras. Gracias. Adiós. Adiós. ¿Cómo está? Jeff, I want to know if you improve your Spanish. Uh, sí. Remember last time I interviewed you, you spoke Spanish. Ah, uh, sí. Sí. I was not improving. Oh, eh, eh, lo siento. Ok, te perdono. Oh, eh, gracias. Muchas, muchísimas gracias. Qué arte, qué gracia. <laughs> Muy español. Oh, gracias uh, once again. Entonces, I like entonces. That's my favorite word. Okay, we so want to know all the gossip about you. Are you single or are you married? That's what we want to know. I've been married for 35 years. Wow, congratulations. Wonderful woman. I have two children, two real children, even though I play a stepfather. In, in one of them? In one Mississippi, Tignataro is my stepdaughter and uh, that guy over there is my stepson but in real life my daughter's about to get married in June to a wonderful guy very happy and um, life is very good in Hollywood it is right so tell me about this project what attracts you to this project it's, a, it's an amazing pilot yes it's an amazing pilot 
and amazing people. And it and the pilot, and then we did six more episodes, and we're starting another season in a couple of weeks because people loved it, and I love it, and I love Tig Notaro. Yes, I want to hear your Spanish. Oh, you know it's horrible. I actually lived in New York City. I should have Spanish, but I. Hola. Hola. Cómo estás? Hola. Cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Un beso a mi esposa. Which is a kiss to my wife. Say Un that beso. Again. Humberto. A mi esposa. A mi esposa. That's good. Adios. Okay, adios. <laughs> Guys, it was insane. It was the biggest red carpet I've ever seen. So many people. I got amazing people, amazing writers. So if you like it, please share this video. Help me. I need your help to be seen, okay? And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You just have to click in the photo above. Follow me on Twitter and find me on Facebook. What the hell did she say? Adios, gracias. Thank you to Leoni Studio for this amazing hair and makeup. Thank you.